Hello. Today I'm going to walk you through a um, an artist inspiration on Georgia O'Keeffe, who is one of my favorite artists, and she um, she really understands how to create uh, a shape and form that almost feels like a sculpture um, through paint. And we're I'm going to offer you the the option of using oil pastel, but really you, could, you can use a variety of different materials. The focus here is being able to show that something is three dimensional by using shading. If you're able to use a material where you can also use tints, which is where you add white. Um, that's awesome, uh, but we can talk about some different options for how you might approach that. Um, Georgia O'Keeffe really loves to do work on, loved to do work on flowers. She's uh, no longer living, but she did these uh, right in the middle. You can see these red poppies. Uh, she's got this trumpet flower, an iris. Um, so she, she does these really beautiful close-ups on flowers. And she also uses the same sort of approach uh, where she's really close up to something and she's using really vivid whites um, and, and this uh, sort of tonal shading um, on shells. And she also uses it on bones. Um, so you can see these bones and landscapes in the background. So what I want you to think about doing is uh, to focus on a flower, um, preferably one that you're actually looking at. So you can look at it through a photograph or you can look at it um, through, uh, uh, you know, actually having it in front of you. And then I want you to select three analogous colors. And what I mean by analogous is that it's the light, medium, and dark of one color, um, that they're colors that mix well together, uh, that if you are choosing colors that are slightly different, uh, that they sit next to each other on the color wheel. So uh, like green and turquoise are really close to each other on the color wheel. Green and red are really far apart. We wouldn't want to use green and red uh, in the same flower in the same area because it would turn to brown. Um, so you're going to start by getting a piece of, uh, of blank paper. Um, I like to use a square and uh, then you're going to draw your flower with a pencil and then we'll progress through the different um, through the different steps. The first step and you can take this in chunks you can you know use this as a multi-day process. The first chunk is to draw your flower. Uh, this one is just kind of a um, sort of an, an easier starting place for a flower. See if I can get this to open. And you can see that her approach is stylized. She's not actually looking at a daisy. But her sketching process is one that is very useful where she's kind of measuring out the overall shapes and then systematically filling in the petals. I'm gonna skip to the end here. so that you can kind of see how she did those details, okay? So uh, the link to this slideshow is going to be in the, um, in the comments of this video. So if you wanna go ahead and watch that entire video or watch it at your leisure, you absolutely can. Uh, just click to see the, the slideshow in the description and you should be able to, to go through the slideshow and, and check these resources. Um, and kind of, I like to use a, I like to be able to speed them up and stop them and um, do all of that stuff kind of as, as I need it. So this video is a basic drawing tutorial that has more of a realistic approach. So you can see even just in the snapshot here that this artist is following really, really detailed contour lines. So you might decide that you want your piece to be, um, you know, the last, the last one was more stylized. 
this one is more realistic. If you're doing the more realistic version, you need to have a reference photograph that you're looking at that hold, you know, that has the flower in the same position, or you need to do your flower from life in one sitting. Um, so if you're doing it from life, you know, expect to sit down for, you know, an hour to do this process um, because flowers wilt, so you can't do it from one day to the next. Now, the key on what he's talking about is that he is working from a reference photograph and he is kind of taking chunks of the reference photograph and, and laying over the basic shapes into this other piece here. So I'm going to skip ahead on this particular video. You can jump, you can come and, and look at it. Um, excuse me. Uh, you can come and look at this video on your own. Um, again, it'll be in the description um, of this video. Uh, this one is to you how you can use oil pastel, which is the suggested material for this. If you happen to have oil pastels at home, I highly recommend that. Um, if you want to try this with crayon, you could try it with crayon. If you want to try it with uh, with paint and you have paint at home, try it with paint. Um, basic idea is. So I'm going to skip ahead on the drawing portion and get us to the color section. So she's choosing some analogous colors for the petals. So that's one way that you could approach the blending process. So these are some student art examples. Uh, these are fourth grader art pieces. And um, so I, you know, I, I want you to, uh, to just experiment to your level and, and not feel like you need them to look, your art piece to look like these art pieces, but um, these are to give you some inspiration. Um, these are some, some other artists who used uh, Sharpie to get some of those close details. Um, with the little pistons and stamens on the inside of a, that looks like a California poppy actually. And some other examples of how people approach this project, including um, a shell down there and a tulip. I like that some of these artists included backgrounds. Okay. So I hope that gives you a sense of, um, of what you, uh, what you can do if you're working on a, um, Georgia O'Keeffe inspired flower or shell or bones. Um, and I can't wait to see